Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Raising Financially Literate Children, hosted by Muslim money experts. Today, we'll be talking about the importance of our intention when it comes to educating our children about finance. I have a question for you. Why should Akhira-focused Muslim parents care about their children's financial education? Well, the simple answer to that question is that Islam is a holistic way of life. It encompasses everything, our spiritual, our emotional, our intellectual, and yes, our financial. But in order for us as conscious Muslim parents to be able to do a great job of actually educating our children about money and about finances, we will need to do some reframing. Money is not haram. I'm going to say that again. Money is not haram. Money isn't evil, it isn't dirty, it isn't shameful. Money has its place in the ecosystem that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has designed for us. And understanding risk and money is an essential part of life. So whatever our own hang-ups about money, about finance, about wealth, we as parents, first and foremost, need to do the work to clear any ideas out of our own heads that are going to make us less effective when it comes to educating our children. So if you've been carrying the idea that money is somehow icky, get rid of it now. We are going to go into what it means to educate your child about finance, about money, as an act of ibadah. We are all familiar with the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where he told us that every one of us is a shepherd and that we will be questioned, we will be asked about our flock. We've been blessed with this ch these children as an amana, as a responsibility. It is our job to teach them, to raise them, to nurture them so that they can fulfill their true potential in this life and inshallah in the next. So taking our reframe and taking that into the space of what is my responsibility towards my child? Educating my child about finances is my responsibility. I can't look to anybody else to fulfill that role. The school is not going to do it. The bank is not going to do it. That is something that you as a Muslim parent should feel empowered to take on as one of your many tasks, inshallah. Now, I have a question for you when it comes to vision. What does your family vision look like? How do you want your child or your children to show up in the world. And I invite you to do this exercise with your spouse if they are available. Spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, and also financially, socially, culturally, how would you like your children to show up in the world? And how much of that will come from seeds that you sow? If you want your child to be debt free, for example, if you want your child to avoid riba, if you'd like them to have generational wealth, if you'd like them to have and know about different streams of income, if you'd like them to be professionals, if you'd like them to be free to be creative, if you'd like them to prioritize family time when they're earning an income. This is part of the vision that I invite you to explore so that you can tailor your children's financial education accordingly. Now in all of this, Again, we go back to the importance of our intention. We mentioned that our children are amana, that we have a responsibility that we will be asked. And therefore, this work that I'm inviting you to do is part of your ibadah, inshallah. So make a sincere intention to think through this, to work through this, and to, to put this into action for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask yourself, why is this important? Examine your why, because our why is what in, impacts our intention and our actions that follow through. So when it comes to your children's financial education, remember, they are a manna, they are a trust. They have been entrusted to you and you will be questioned about them. They are your responsibility. You are responsible for leading their education in a holistic way. They are also part of your legacy. They are what you will leave behind. They are the imprint of your life or future generations. 
and also they're a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's favor. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favors us with a thing, it is upon us to be grateful for that and to take care of it. So right now, ask yourself, what is my why? Purify your intention and then let's look at that tool that we all have that is going to allow us to be successful on this journey, inshallah. That tool is dua. This series is going to give you practical tips on how to educate your children about finance from an Islamic perspective. But most importantly, you have the tool of dua. So use it. There is a beautiful dua from the Quran from Surah as safat Rabbi habli min as salihin My Lord, grant me a child from among the righteous. The question is, in this context, in the context of money, of finance, of wealth, what does righteousness look like? Well, it's a child who understands what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about money, wealth, and finance. A child who cares about what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about money, wealth, and finance, and a child who is ready and willing and equipped to obey the rules of Allah when it comes to halal and haram income, risk and riba, and earning halal and spending in Allah's way. It will also impact their relationship with money, the place that money has in their hearts, the role that money plays in their lives, and how they manage their finances. It will also impact their sense of financial responsibility towards themselves, towards their families, towards you, towards the community, and towards the ummah. And possibly, most powerfully, it will impact their intentionality with money. Many people do not understand where money comes from, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us that rizq is from Him. And so we know that ultimately, if our provision is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then disobeying Him in the pursuit of that risk makes no sense whatsoever. We want our children to be 100% firm on this, to be able to walk that path of righteousness without fear of poverty, without fear of comparison with others, without fear of chasing the dollar or the dunya, and knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless them for whatever sacrifices they make along the way. And before I leave, just a quick reminder to look out for our children's activity workbook on raising financially literate children, available for you to download from the Muslim Money Experts website soon.